Fortnite has been lying to you. A secret dripping with heresy and reeking of original sin. It's a secret that Epic Games has gone to great lengths of hiding. However, after months of analysis and spectral analyzing of the start menu, I have found, if you look closely enough, that there's another button above the Battle Royale mode. But where? Where gods might it lead? Could it I? Could it be? What is it that I see? It is a full version of Fortnite, I do decree. I, 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 I don't heard rumors of such a thing. I wonder why no one has ever talked about this. No one talks about it because it's awful. Right, okay, I see. It's basically just Destiny with zombies. You know how everyone hates Destiny because it's just a constant shallow grind to make a single number become incrementally higher with all the thrill and tribulation of professional accounting? Well, it's just that, but somehow even shallower and constant and accountanty. After an agonizing tutorial that holds your hand more than your uncle. Whenever something is blocking your path, Try destroying it. Use your pickaxe to take care of the minecart. Enter build mode and select stairs. We need some crafting materials. Try smashing up some cars and trees. Good choice. Cars are a trusty source of metal, nuts and bolts, and mechanical parts. All right, that's everything we need to craft a gun. Open the inventory, click on the gun icon, select it, and craft. Your pet robot, whose dialogue is, oh, just so, so quirky, so, so cool and wacky, guys. I kicked all across the floor, you guys. Wow, I just said that. You sent down an endless and repetitive cavalcade of menial bullshit. And I mean menial bullshit even for a zombie game. Each mission takes place in a copy-paste map where you're either defending a thing or finding a thing or building those fucking idiot fucking towers. And to advance the story, you either do a bunch of missions or collect a bunch of side shit. People use the word shit way too much. With your only incentive making the sacred holy numbers slightly bigger. Which I'd harp on this more, but that's basically the same premise as capitalism, so... It's just the most basis of base level psychological stimulation. Completing simple tasks for petty rewards to make me brain juices feel nice. So you keep grinding numbers and you keep going and going and going until you, uh, uh, might I say, all of a sudden, just out of the clear blue sky, you could say, the game suddenly gets really frustratingly difficult all of a sudden. But luckily, thank God, thank Allah, thank all the gods that this is a feature, you can unlock loot boxes which contain better rewards and better heroes which should be bought with real money. <laughs> This is just as much of a scan as those Candy Crush knockoffs! Or just Candy Crush itself, I'm gonna think about it. But this is somehow even worse, because at least Candy Crush doesn't cost 50 fucking bollocking ass dollars to just get it! I'm not even going to go into how the Defenders system is completely worthless and the resource gathering shit from Assassin's Creed is still as fucking boring as watching a wedding of someone whose life doesn't affect you or that the ninja is the only good class because... Yeah. Or the bullet sponge enemies who seem to think that the only worthwhile challenge is a battle of fucking attrition. Or this crystal mini game that's just the worst. Go away. No. Or the useless hoverboard that only moves slightly faster than walking speed. Fuck, I don't even want to mention the positives of it. Like the fort building mechanic, which is way more in depth than in Battle Royale, so it's a lot more enjoyable and fleshed out. But that doesn't matter, does it? Because it's just a shallow ass bloody scam that's trying to bilk you for bloody Bitcoin. Bad Fortnite, bad! Rolled up newspaper. How about let's just all stop being angry and just, let's just all play Halo Online. Let's just play Halo Online. That's a much better waste than time. Thank you. Thank you. Microsoft, if you touch it, if you fucking touch it, I'll eat your firstborn! Actually, now that I think about it, if you're looking for an open world quirky zombie game with terrible writing and tower defense mechanics, Sunset Overdrive did it better than this game ever could. Because that game was amazing, and I'll eat anyone who says otherwise. Also, do you want to know who's bloody sexy? Then it's Dost, Tyrion, Jacqueline Penny, Harriman, aka Manny800, the fuck? The Walking Dead Pan, that guy in the store. Bubba Fair, Marklin, Scurelli, Sc 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 Non-Hinged, Ethan Sluggings, Sluggingski, Sluggiski, fuck. Pushatit, no, Push, Pushatit, 
Productions, Wilkson, Mr. Cyclone, R2, Johnson, and Christian are paid. This camera is heavy. These are all $10 Patreons. And so they go on the $10, $10 green wall. However, you don't have to be a green Patreon wall patron in order to get to the Discord where I post previews. Oh, I don't like that. Any contributor to the Patreon, any at all, even a dollar, gets access to the Patreon Discord, where I post previews and shit. Where I post previews and, you know, sneak peeks and behind the scenes and all that cool shit. And sometimes I talk, and it's pretty cool. Oh, anyway, um, uh, this is awkward. I don't like this. Bye.